Despite what you might say or think about the Assassin's Creed series, each and every entry has a certain level of charm and offers a chance to explore wondrous locations that seem almost alien to us now, in our crazy internet age of cynical whiner babies. But which of the series is the best? Well, that's what I'm here to answer in this top 5, so sit back and enjoy my least favourite to most favourite games in an easy to digest numerical order. It should also go without saying that I do like all the games in this series for the most part, but I do prefer some more than others. Oh, and uh, obviously this is my own personal opinion, so before you get to bitching in the comments section about how my opinion is wrong, take a second to reevaluate your life and really put things in perspective, you imbecile waste of fu- Number 5 it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that my number 5 spot is filled by the most widely disliked game of the entire series, that of course being Assassin's Creed 3. But while the ending was unsatisfying and stupid, the mission design was lacklustre and the open world felt dull and empty, I do still think that there's more to like than there isn't. The updated parkour system made you feel like a true assassin, the kill animations were as brutal as ever, and the introduction of the ship combat was so good that it inspired an entire new game for the franchise. But all in all, the game felt rushed and dropped the ball on just about every promise and expectation the fans had for it. It's a shame, really. It could have been so much better if more time had been given to it. Numero 4 Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is an interesting one for me. I personally got to the party late on this instalment, so I just don't hold it in such high regard as some of the other fans do. I thought the new city was great to explore and everything, and I had a blast playing it from beginning to end. But for me... It just wasn't trying anything risky or new. I suppose I just felt like it was playing it too safe. All in all though, more Assassin's Creed 2 is good Assassin's Creed. Right? Why? Number 3 So in the middle spot, I've chosen the most divisive game in the series to date, Assassin's Creed Revelations. This seems to be the one that most people are split on. It's like the Marmite of the Assassin's Creed series. You either love it, or you fucking despise it. I personally thought it was great. I thought Constantinople was infinitely more visually interesting and involving than the previous mentions on this list, and the story was actually somewhat comprehensible, as well as being more thematically well-paced. But at the same time, I do understand why people were not so keen on it. It marked the point where people started to get tired because Ubisoft were seemingly making endless Ezio sequels, and it did have some really bad decisions like that stupid tower defense minigame. Who ever thought that was a good idea? Seriously. Number 2 Assassin's Creed 4 was the entry that finally got people's hopes up again, the one to right all the wrongs of the previous entries. It effectively invigorated the whole series, giving you the huge ocean to explore, and the previously mentioned boat mechanics from Assassin's Creed 3 was a genius idea. And while the story was bogged down by all the Templar assassin nonsense, you just didn't care. Because just look how gorgeous it is! Number 1 By the rule of elimination, there are one of two choices for number one. And of course, it's not going to be Assassin's Creed 1, because... Just no. Assassin's Creed 2, everybody! Woo! <coughs> I mean, really, is there any other answer? Widely regarded as the best entry in the series, Assassin's Creed 2 was the game that got the ball rolling. The one that made everyone say, So what's this Assassin's Creed thing all about? Introducing us to Ezio, seducing us with a beautiful score by Jesper Kidd, giving us the magical city of Venice to climb. It's just a marvel in open world game design and definitely earns the number one spot as my favorite Assassin's Creed game to date. Of course. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, my first top five on this channel. So while I might have gone a bit off the rails at the beginning about being a whiny bitch about commenting and stuff, I still want to hear what you have to say. Do you agree with my list or if not, which way around would you have done it? Please tell me in the comments below without being a cock. You know, it is possible to disagree with someone without being a complete asshole. Not talking to all of you, just the small minority who are in just... no. Make sure you check out my other channel, I Hate Everything, where I pick apart subjects like DLC, Justin Bieber, and dolphins. And just generally rant about things that ultimately don't matter. So thanks for watching. All comments, ratings, and the other such things are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye.